Yeah, I'm going to be going with no camera today, uh, just because I forgot to charge my phone. But I was kind of playing around with Go, and people told me that I should be using the standard way, the standard uh, library or whatever it's called package for creating an HTTP server. And instead, I was using Jin. I don't think there's anything wrong with Jin, but you guys are the Go experts, so let's just go ahead and do what you all say. Um, so I'm reading through this blog post article, and they're saying that the new standard MUX um, is what you can use to basically create a router and handle path parameters. So I'm going to go through here and just refactor it away to not use Jin and instead use the standard library that's provided in Go 1.22, I think. Anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and bring in whatever this MUX thing is. So instead of saying R is equal to Jin default, let's just bring in MUX. I'm going to move the store out to the top instead of it being inside the main function. And then in order to define a get request on a path, it looks like you do this. So let's just go ahead and paste that in. So get on E slash. And I think the way you do path parameters is you do the curly braces here. At least that's what they're doing here. So I don't know. I'm guessing that's what you do. Now I can copy this code, paste that in. And now we have a endpoint that we can call. So now in the internals of the function, we have to be able to get that key. The way you can get it is like this. So let's just go ahead and grab that key here. And instead of ID, we want to get key because that's what I wrapped in the curly braces. And then we'll rename this the key and I'll go ahead and delete some code here so that we can get all the same stuff. Now the difference is writing a response, it looks like they do FMT F print W and they pass it a writer, a response writer here. I'm not sure how you send back JSON, so we'll have to figure that out too. In their blog post, I'm not seeing how they render out JSON, so let's like look at one of these maybe. Okay, not really useful. Um, but they do start their server down here, so let's just go ahead and run it like that. Localhost 8080. That should be good. So we're going to refactor this right now. Um, go ahead and also do a post request. So I'll say post on key. Get the same path parameter from that. And we got to figure out two things. We got to figure out how do we write JSON back in the response and how do we read JSON from the, the body. So let's go and just like Google some more. Well, here's an example of how they decode some JSON coming in. Um, and they pass it a pointer to something. So I think I could kind of change how this is working. Let's just copy this code. And we are going to paste that in. And we need to bring in the JSON data. So I'll say JSON bar JSON data and any. So then we take the body of the request, we decode it, and we put it inside this variable. If there's an error, we write back an error response. I guess we don't need this anymore. I'm not really sure what type this returns. I mean, it'd be nice if this was in a binary array because that's like what we're storing in our little key value store. But I don't know if that's going to work. Um, but yeah, how do we return? How do we write header? Okay, this is how they're writing back just a header. So we could do that. Status create is probably like what? 204, 201. Okay, whatever. Okay, so now we have the endpoint for hopefully storing to our key value store. Now we have to also get the data and send it back. So I know how to send an error back now. I just do this. Now, how do we return JSON? That is okay, right? J. I think this is their example. They do JSON Marshall of notes. Uh, we could probably pick and pick this apart and use it. So we'll use the writer. We'll set application JSON as a response content type. Write an OK header. But then we want to write back the value that we're getting. Which, unfortunately, this thing is requiring a byte array. And we're passing in any. Might need to grab some of this code, too. So let's just convert this to JSON Marshall. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to grab this. 
So we get the value from the store and we unmarshal it. So this should be value. And then we should get an error if this didn't work. I think if I just do this, maybe this will work. Let's just try it. Let's do uh, error. That should run our server. It says running. So then let's go back to Thunder Client and let's hit our two endpoints. So we're going to store a key called testing. And that failed. So can I unmarshal object into go value of type uint8? Let's go down to where we're trying to store the key and let's figure out what's going on here. Guessing it's failing on this line. By the way, I need to figure out how to use a debugger and go. Try it again. We are here. Yeah, so it is throwing this error right here and we're getting back that status code of 500. So let's try to figure out like why this isn't working. Does our, is our body even defined? So format print line. Is that how you can print out the body? Let's run this again. And we get back this weird, I guess this is like a uint8 array. You know, let's just switch this to any and see what happens. Will that get us further? That's failing to compile because I'm not storing any. All right, that at least stored my value, I think. Now we have to test getting it. Go back here and we'll do a test endpoint again, or I called it testing. Now when we try to get the data back, it worked. This is the refactoring from Jin to using, I guess, the standard HTTP MUX library or whatever you guys call it, net slash HTTP. One thing I need to figure out is the decode. It returns any. And I wonder if it's fine to just store any inside of this lookup map. Feels kind of gross, but <clears throat> when printing this out, I mean, this came back as this. I have no idea what this is. All right, I think that's about it. So if you guys see anything I did that's completely wrong with how you're supposed to use this library, uh, point it out in a comment, let me know. I'm not really liking the use of the any here, but I mean, technically this is an arbitrary key value store that could store anything that comes in, any type of JSON structure. So maybe it's needed. But um, other than that, if you guys enjoyed watching, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And also I got a Discord channel you guys are welcome to join. If you want to find a place to hang out or talk to some other developers, have a good day and happy coding.